How are you doing today, sir? Good, Stevie. All good, mate. <laughs> I'm doing excellent. <laughs> yeah, it started snowing pretty good today, so it's uh, fun. Gonna go snowboarding tomorrow, so uh, keep snowing. Um, are you, so you're hold on. I want to adjust the chair. Uh, so for when people are walking by, um, so you're not allowed to do snowboarding or fun activities when you're filming things. No, you're not meant to. Of course not. Yeah, right. Yeah. Of course. You've never done that when you're filming. No, something. never, never. Um, yeah, that's, exactly. <laughs> um, what's it like for you? Have you been to Sundance before? No, first time I've ever been. So, so what the hell is this experience like for you? It's, it's been good. It's a good little film. Maggie's playing. That I've come up to you to uh, support. So uh, it was a, a lot of fun to shoot and uh, great cast. And, Great director and writer, so uh, it's a bit of a privilege coming up, you know. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, and I said this to you off camera. Uh, I thought the movie's like awesome. It's one of those really, really smart scripts, yeah. you know, with great performances. Rebecca Miller is amazing, the talented writer. You know, just very attractive for an actor. You know, the characters that she writes are very quirky and deep. And, it's a, it's a fun little film. Great. Well, talk a little bit about how the role was presented to you, and when she spoke to you about it, was it like, oh, I have to do this? Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I read the script before I met with her, and I was shooting in Ireland at the time, and she lives in Ireland a lot of the time with her husband, and um, we met at a pub, and I uh, just talked about the script. But the script is, was such a good uh, sales pitch, you know? It's just so attractive for an actor. Well, I was going to say, um, I speak to a lot of actors, a lot of directors, and everyone always says, you know, finding a, a great script is like, you know, uh, uh, the needle in the haystack. You know, there's yeah. so, so few of them. Yeah, yeah. You when know? you really find one, you really uh, want to get the job. I suppose that's why I don't know how I got the job, but that's why they attracted such good cast. You know, Juliana Moore and Ethan Hawke and Greta and Meyer and um, who's that funny bugger? Uh, Bill Hader. Bill, Bill Hader. He's so funny, man. You see that scene when he sat down? Oh, and he, he, yeah. He's a, a truly gifted comedian. Yeah, no, he's great. And nice fellow, though. Also nice, too. Um, well, were you a little. You, you play a supporting role in the film. You know, yeah. you don't have the biggest role. Were you sort of like just a little disappointed that you didn't have more scenes with Julianne Moore or Bill? Uh, or... Of course, it'd be great to work with them. But no, it was a great fun, and I, I, I had to go back to Vikings anyway. To shoot that, so I could. It was great. I was there for two weeks and left. Played a sperm donor and you know did my thing and then got out of there. So uh, I, right now you're clean shaven, and I would imagine that the people that know you from Vikings, you know, know that look, the beard. Yeah. Are, do you sort of get to be uh, really anonymous right now? You know what I mean? Like what's I'm it always like, anonymous. Too. Even with that beard? Yeah, I'm always anonymous. Really. Yeah. I would imagine, because when I saw that beard on the screen, I'm like, oh, he's filming Vikings. <laughs> like, yeah, he's yeah, doing yeah. this as a break. Oh, the beard, I love having a beard, man. It's just easy. But now it's a bit, uh, I was looking, when I was in New York, it's a bit of a trendy thing now. Oh. So, uh, yeah. First thing when I finish, I shaved it off, man. Um, talk a little bit about what it's been like for you the last few years. You know, everyone's... Well, it's been great. I've been lucky the last few years. Vikings went really good. Great process. Uh, I learned a lot. Uh, Warcraft, it comes out. This year in June, that was a great, a di wholly different experience. And then uh, this Maggie's Plan was just so different than other characters I've played. You know, a lot of characters I've played are always sort of empowered and very physical, and this guy was very um, shy and awkward and uh, pretty odd. So it was a great, uh, for an actor, so always, you know, you're always trying to grow and do different stuff, and uh, it was very enjoyable. What for you when you audition for a role? Uh, do you are you the type that auditions very well? Or oh my god, I'm horrible. I <laughs> absolutely hate it. For, hate it. What's the worst you've done for auditioning? Oh, I've done some pretty bad, mate. There's so many. Um, geez, no, there've been so many, but I've been lucky the last few years. I haven't had to do it, do it as much. Sure. I've been working, you know, but. I dread it. I dread going back. I go back to LA uh, tomorrow. I dread the audition. Just really bad at it too. Not being modest or anything. Just horribly nervous. It just it's always an awkward situation. I'm very very bad at auditions. Do you, do you feel like nowadays you should just walk into the audition and be like, like a video screen, like an iPad, and just hold it up in the air, and be like yeah. Vikings, and just here's well, my work. I got Vikings. Uh, from tape, I got Warcraft from tape, and then um, luckily I was off at the records when, from the meeting. But uh, yeah, and there's probably 80% of the jobs I've gotten 
I've been from putting myself on tape. Just because I'm so awkward in that room. People watching you and you know, got the camera there. Just hopeless. No, no, totally. And, and, and a lot of directors I've spoken to say that literally within the first few seconds they know if that person is right for the role. Because yeah. they've been envisioning it in their head. Yeah. Yeah. That, it, that it's rare when someone comes in and they change everything they've ever seen about that character. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. So um, I, I'm very curious. So I'm incredibly excited for Duncan Jones' Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, again, off camera, like one of the things that excites me is the lack of a typical antagonist. Yeah, no, they're really in Warcraft as a... There's two major parties in the movie, and uh, there's no decision to make any, either of them right or wrong. You know, there's no uh, typical bad guy. You know, it's a real struggle. There's two good sides trying to, for their people to survive, and um, neither are right or wrong. Well, they're both right, but they're both wrong. You know, so it's good. It's not the typical um, the bad team against a good team. Well, one of the things is, I believe this is probably your first time really working with extreme motion capture, CGI. Yeah. So what was that process like learning what's, you know, this almost revolution to filmmaking? It's amazing, actually. I was more amazed when you see, I saw some of the footage of, say, the orcs in the, in the film and the detail that they can do now. It's a lot more awkward for an actor, I feel. I'd rather be talking to somebody, but... but um, it is amazing what technology they have, you know, and then we'd be standing in a fully, a fully blue room and then you'd see the shot and it's like these huge vistas, things flying through the air and these creatures everywhere. It's amazing what, uh, how far advanced technology is. Uh, a big fan of Duncan Jones, mm -hmm. tremendous talent behind the camera. Uh, describe a little bit the collaboration process with Duncan and what did you take away from the experience of working with him? Oh, Duncan's a great fellow, it's a great experience. It's, um, it's not your typical, I guess, director-actor um, relationship just because you have to be in certain positions because of the CGI, you know. A lot of, it, a lot of your acting has to be mapped out because of the CGI and um, certain locations and all that stuff. But it was a great experience, a great cast, everybody was very nice. And, Crew in um, the crew in uh, Vancouver, very talented. So uh, it was great fun. We shot the whole movie for six months inside the one in a big shed. You know, uh, is there a day or two that you'll always remember from the making of that film? Day or two. Oh, I fell off a horse one day. That was funny. <laughs> the whole set went pretty quiet there. Horse landed on me. Um, you have experience with horses. What the hell happened? Oh, there's a lot of things. Mostly I'm a dummy. But, um, oh, you run up. We're, you're inside and it's fake ground. Sure. It's not proper uh, dirt, you know. And then um, I have these huge fans and lights. And on the first take, the fans came on the lights and the horse wasn't used to it. Then it bucked up and then it couldn't keep its feet. So it kept, it just shot backwards and fell back on top of me. And I couldn't jump off because of all the... I've got arm around like sure, this, yes. you know. You can hardly even walk in it. It was mostly me, just dumb. It was, it was well, funny how silent the crew went. Well, I'm sure they were just making sure you're okay. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, uh, I've seen pictures of, of you with, with all the armor and all the yeah. stuff. Were you sort of, when, when you went in for the movie and you learned about Warcraft and you're yeah. getting ready to make it, it's a whole other world when you're putting on all that armor. Oh my god, mate. Yeah, the armor was, uh, it took four people to put it on and three to take off. And uh, <gasps> yeah, you literally pretty well have to turn sideways walking through a door. Right, of course. Had to get help uh, getting on a horse, had to get help. If you fall, you just gotta fall. You can't save yourself. You sort of, it's pretty funny. It's very, uh, and the swords. You know, uh, it's so long in it, where it's uh, it's not the best environment uh, to do fight stuff and all that stuff. But it's um, it creates such a great look and such a truthful look to the game, which I really wanted and they really achieved. Sure, yeah, everything I saw at Comic Con, all the the the, the, the uh, props yeah. just look insane. Yeah, everything's just big. Yeah, everything. The swords are three times bigger than any sword you've seen. Thank you, yeah. Legendary. Yeah, there you go. Even, <laughs> the, even the horses were uh, draft horses. Of course. You know, instead of normal horses. Uh, I definitely want to talk a little bit about Vikings, which is mm. a show I really, really dig. Um, what, what's it been like for you? You're on your fourth season now, or you... Well, I just finished the fifth. 
my bad. Clearly, we were I'm, shot too this year. Right. Clearly, I'm a big fan that I don't <laughs> know these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what's it been like for you? From when you sign on to something, you think it's going to be a certain way, and you know things change as you're making it because you yeah. learn characters, you learn yeah. how to make the show. I was very lucky on Vikings with the creator Michael R. Hurst. He's so collaborative, you know, and we work together a lot, and um, it was a great experience. And once again, that's another place where the crew is just so talented in uh, Ireland and a great people. I'd do any, anything over there. It was a really enjoyable time. And the, um, talk about sceneries, it's beautiful. The lakes everywhere. Uh, great studios, uh, studios over there, and um, I encourage any any production to go over there and work with the crew. Very well, talented. One of the things that I take away from the show is the production design. Oh my God! Yeah, we don't have the budget of other big shows, and what they can do for the money is just brilliant. The most amazing um, carpenters and um, yeah, extraordinary wardrobe and makeup and hair. Just uh, yeah, it's a it's tremendous what they can do with the budget that we have, and they make they make it look like we have a lot bigger budget. Absolutely, I know you're in history. You're not like you know it's yeah. not that seven million dollar budget. Exactly. Per, you know, even what they can do with the CGI because there is CGI in a lot of the sure. higher mountain stuff, and they do. I think they've been nominated a lot the CGI boys, but um, yeah, without if if it had been shot anywhere else, we wouldn't uh, still be on here. Well, I'm, I'm curious about the behind the scenes of the making of the show and what's it been like since the first season in terms of the way you prepare for it or prepared for it, the way it goes on, you know, behind yeah. the scenes. Um, well, you get there, Michael's, as I say, Michael Hurst, the creator, is very collaborative. He was since day one, but certainly in the latter years and the second year and third and fourth years, you, um, you really get to know your character a lot more and... and um, get to know the other cast and characters and, and yeah shows it definitely gets better you know every year is easier and, and um, you're just trying to better yourself all the time you know sure yeah. I, I gotta wrap with you but I want to ask you one last thing uh, real fast is uh, that so well, is someone's it? right there yeah <laughs> I'm getting the uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah exactly uh, <laughs> what can you tease people for fans of the show about what's coming up what you just filmed well uh, we shot two seasons season five is um my favorite. Uh, I think you're not just it, saying that. No, it took, it took it to a, a whole different level. And people haven't seen season four hasn't come out either. And um, I really like season four too, especially the latter half. It gets going, but you know, it's more drama, more betrayals, um, more Viking stuff. You know, uh, but we did get a bit more money actually, so uh, it is a bit more, um, even more production uh, value. I've heard that every year a show is on, you get to build one more set. Well, sometimes it goes the other way too, because oh, you made it for that, so you know maybe you can make it for less. Sure. But um, so our second, third year, we weren't getting. Well, the third year we got a bit more, but this year we got a bit more money. So um, I think the audience are going to love, love it. And I think they're doing two seasons in one year. Totally. That they're going to show. So uh, I'm pretty happy for the audience because it is a if it's a ten episode season, it's a long wait for them audience to uh, see the next uh, the next season. I got to wrap with you. Thank you so no much worries. sir. Pleasure to see you see again. Me. Let me hit